Hi everyone, today we are making Dobby the Elf from Harry Potter movie. So let's get started. So first we'll make his legs and I'm using a skin color fondant. I have used a little bit of uh, red and a slight bit of brown color to make to make the skin color. Now I have rolled a very thin sausage, almost like a bat shape and uh, using my scalpel tool I created the toes. Now if you remember uh, Dobby had a very bony kind of a structure so I'm making uh, so I'm making his uh, heel bones and wherever I can uh, mark as many veins and lines around his body to give that that he's overworked and very skinny so these are modeling tools these the one that i'm using uh, is has a very soft rubber tip so it does not uh, scorch the fondant and gives a beautiful shape so if you're too much into fondant modeling uh, this is one of the tools that you can consider to add in your repertoire now the legs are ready let's make the body the body again is a conical shape and i'm going to pinch the neck a thin neck and if you remember uh, dobby was a little hunched uh, his neck was always bowing in front so uh, just creating the neck a little bent and increasing the back side of it using again a modeling tool a sigil sh uh, shape i'm creating his neck area so the idea here is to create a, a very uh, weak kind of a body structure. Now using some bit of uh, margarine, I'm going to smooth out the fondant and press it all across the leg like a dress. Now I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil on my surface and rolling out a thin white fondant for his cape. Now if you're liking this video then do consider subscribing to the channel. We do a lot of cake video, home decor and recipe sharing on this uh, channel. It is a typical life of a cake decorator. Now using my uh, another uh, sharp tool, uh, I'm just fraying the edges of the fondant to give the cloth a very old uh, tattered kind of a look and with help of uh, water I'll just attach it at the back. Now I'm using water just in case you're not comfortable using water just go ahead and use uh, gum glue uh, which is edible of course and uh, just kind of scratch or uh, use your tool to just scratch anywhere and everywhere where you think it will give a very a little tattered kind of a look later on of course we are going to use a lot of dust and petal or uh, dust to highlight these areas but again using a almost a bad shape for his hands and make sure the hands are really thin and slender compared to the palm area so palm area will be a little uh, much more bigger compared to the whole hand area the arms and everything it has to be thin now I'm just pressing the tool to create uh, all the hand details so I'll just insert a wire a thin uh, wire uh, you can also use a toothpick or a spaghetti so uh, just inserting that I'll just add the hands now you shape the hands just the way you want I wanted the hands to rest on the uh, floor or the cake board so uh, using an oval shape uh, skin color fondant ball uh, I'm pressing my both thumbs and creating uh, eye socket area and using my sculpting tool I have created a big smile 
and I'll keep on pinching the nose area right now it looks like Voldemort so if you're planning to make Voldemort this is the best way now using my chisel uh, sculpting tool now it is again a very soft rubber based tool and I'll keep on pinching the nose if you remember the Dobby had a very sharp long nose so I'm just trying to create that and using my sculpting tool I'll smooth out whatever is on the side and using my uh, rubber tool again I'll create the nostrils I'll pinch out the mouth area of uh, Dobby also create forehead with lots of wrinkles I'll create lines around his mouth creating lots of wrinkles making as much definition as possible Now basically it's all uh, you keep on uh, softening the any harsh edges that's there at the same time we are creating so creating as many wrinkles as possible on the face and also uh, defining all the features like over here I'm defining the eye socket area and I'm adding white gum paste ball in the eye socket using a little bit of water now make sure the eyes looks pretty bulging and using moss green color this is edible green color from uh, Ameri colors that I'm using here I have mixed green and uh, bright yellow and I'll add some white in between and then blend it together to get this kind of effect and at the end I'll add black color now using two triangular shape uh, skin color fondant I have pinched both the corners and created the ears and added few lines in between and attaching it at the side of the head of Dobby now we will attach the eyelids and using again the sculpting tools we will fix it inside the eyes now you can make it as cute as possible this is the best version I could get so uh, just add uh, eyelids on both upper eyelid and lower eyelids do it on the both eyes uh, do follow us on Instagram. We post uh, regular updates of our uh, behind the scenes and lots of new recipes which I'm unable to share on YouTube. So follow me on Instagram at Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki and I'll leave the uh, link in the description box. Repeating the same in both eyes. Again, uh, whichever uh, sculpting tool you're comfortable with, just keep on pushing it in the eye socket area and smooth out any wrinkles. Just be careful if you're using paint, just be careful not to smudge anything, whatever the uh, pupil area that we have painted. Now the face is ready. We will just use some uh, petal dust. I'm using brown color petal dust from Sugarine and I'm uh, defining all the crease areas of the face. I'm also adding a little bit of brown on the dress or the cape. And we will attach it to the body and uh, our Dobby is finished. Hope you like this video and if you did then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much.